Hi there, welcome to another tutorial. This time I'm going to do a tutorial on a photo manipulation program which is actually online. It's very similar to Photoshop and it's called Pixlr. So what you need to do is first of all go to this address above www.pixlr.com and press enter. Right, when you get there you'll see this page. Um, you think, oh, what do I do? Do I log in? Do I sign on? No, you can do, but simply go to these two blue arrows facing downwards and click and then Abracadabra, all that appears. Right, now out of those two choices, just choose Launch Web App. Even though that is Launch Web App, just choose the left one. So that's open now. Now we've got to decide. We come to a menu. Um, what do we do? Do we create a new image? Do we open an image from computer? From URL? Um, URL is basically an address. Or from a library? No, we just want to open from a computer. So click on that, and it just happens to be pointing to my desktop on this flower here. So double click on the flower, and we come up with this menu. Now, you've got a toolbar on the left, you've got the main desktop, or the work area, or the workspace as it's technically called in the middle. You've got the navigator, you've got your layers, and you've got the history. Okay, very, very simply, I'll try and keep this just a quick overview. Um, what you do is. Right, let's see, best way to do this. I'll just go through everything. Right, the navigator, it just shows you what you're looking at on here in the middle, and you can adjust, you can adjust it different sizes, so we're at 46%, where, let's stay at that. It's best just to keep it to a percentage where everything is in the screen. Um, we've got the layers. Now the layer has, th well they're all important buttons, but these are probably the most used ones. That's the bin, delete the layer, that'll get rid of it. That's a new layer, so if you click that, we can create a new layer. Um, so, it's always good practice to create a new layer with what you're working on. Um, so in this case, you right click and duplicate the layer. Okay, It'll say background copy. So, let's see, is there a way of renaming it? Yes, you double click on it and call it flower. So, so we've got layer 2 and the original layer, which has got a padlock next to it, which means locked, is great because it's protected, you can't damage that layer. Okay, now you can switch off layers because both layers look the same, you won't notice any difference, but I'll come to that in a minute. So literally we've switched off that layer and we've shown the layer below. Okay. Right, so there's layers and there's history. Now the history is what you've actually done. See, we've started by opening image. Now we've duplicated the layer, so that's within the history. So that's, that's a useful little box there. Right, we have tools menu on the left now. Um, we've got all the menus at the top, which are pretty useful. Right, so starting from here, from tools, that's a crop tool. Now, as the name suggests, it crops. So let me, let's work on this layer. If you ever want to work on a layer, you literally go highlight the layer you want to work on. Okay, right, let's, um, what do we do? Go through the list, right, so crop tool, you can do that. And you think, what's that done? hasn't really done too much at the moment other than it's just highlighted the area that you want to crop. <coughs> now
Now what you have to do is, with that tool, you've got to work with that button there. So if I click on that button now, it'll say do you want to apply the changes. Just say yes, because if I say no, nothing will happen. Do yes, and the area we highlighted, it crops it. Now if you've made a mistake, press Control and Z, and we're back to where we were. Okay. So we've done those two buttons. Um, now if you hover over, you'll see what the actual tool does and also at the, le at the end there will be a letter and that will be the shortcut for the tool you want to use shortcut is in you press on the keyboard that letter it says at the end so let's try the marquee tool it's the same again there highlight that oops sorry my mistake we have to add that, no don't add that marquee tool, highlight the marquee tool do that same thing on its own it doesn't do anything, we have to go there let's move that out of the way, see? because there's a layer below it it doesn't look like it's done anything um, to get rid of this these are called technically as marching ants as A-N-T-S to get rid of them, press Control D see, deselect all has come up in the history um, same as this that, just a bit of random marching ants so if we hover over that that'll be called the lasso tool, same again left click that while the marching ants are still en enabled and just do that, see control Z that, because I don't want that control Z it again magic wand's great you're wondering why I've got a a flower on a white background that makes getting um objects and removing them quite easily if you've got a white background so literally click on well, I call it the magic wands because that's what it's called in Photoshop wands tool, again the letter W and do that and we've got all of that so if I was to suddenly cut that we'd have an exact selection of that flower ok so magic wands, what's this one pencil tool that's obvious. You can just make a mess by literally just drawing on it. And you can change the size of the pencil by doing this. See? Again, we don't want that, so Control Z, Control Z. Brush tool, exactly the same. It's a brush. Let's just let's draw something, let's make a mess. Okay, brush tool. Oh dear, I've made a mistake, what do I do? get the eraser tool and just get rid of what you don't want, perhaps I just want it like just like that ok, so that's a control Z, control Z control Z as you look on the right under history it'll take you back steps and you can see what steps you go back paint buckets again you have to create a new layer for that um, I won't go into too much explanation at the moment but I'll just show you so we over over new layer and the colour that's down here will be the colour that the paint bucket will cover see? black so control Z go back to two layers again um, this one is gradients yet again at the top you'll see a colour let's try something clearly obvious so let's try that pink gradient so now for gradient to work you've got to left click drag don't let go do that. See, we've got a gradient, which at the moment doesn't look like it's doing much, and you're wondering why. But you can change the opacity. So this layer I've just created, you can make it look see-through. I think a great explanation that somebody made about layers is if you've got like an overhead projector, which you used to have at school, and somebody comes along with an acetate, and they put it down, let's say that's got writing on it, you know that will show up on the screen and if somebody else comes along and let's say the second acetate is slightly coloured and it's got a photograph on it and they put it on both of those will show up so both those layers will show up on your screen which is the equivalent to the acetate screen ok control Z yet again clone tool 
the clone stamp. That takes a bit of messing around. I think I'll leave that for a bit. Colour replace. Again, I did the colour replace with the wasps um, to change the colours of the wasps. That video that I did a little while ago. If you haven't seen it, it's, it's on the YouTube page. I think it's called Radioactive Wasp. <laughs> I couldn't think what to call it, so. Drawing tool, same again. Now the blur tool. That'll blur what you're looking at. So let's try that. Yeah, that didn't seem to want to work. Large brush. Okay, I don't know why that didn't work. Okay, the next tool will be the sharpening tool. You can sharpen objects. Um, let's see, the next tool will be the smudge tool. Same again, smudge, we'll smudge an object. these are exactly what they imply. Dodge tool, same again. Can't see very much difference but it is making a bit of difference. And these are all just little tools that do make a difference. The burn tool again, that's the opposite. Red eye, you all know about red eye. You get that in the camera. Um, you can remove red. Let's try this. OK, this picture is red. Just pretend that it's a photograph of somebody's eye when the flash has been taken off. So if we do that, see, it removes all the red. It assumes it's the red from a flash. So let's go back all these steps we've been... Now we're back to normal. Spot heel. Again, that's a little bit advanced. Um, if you've got let's say a dent in a car for example and you want to get another part of the car that doesn't have a dent in it and you can basically sort of fix the dent digitally speaking so that's really what that does um, this one's fun this is what they use for supermodels you get the bloat tool see it just bloats out you know they'd use it on the model's face to make their lips look a bit fuller um, arms and different parts of their body. And let's go back. So the next one is totally the opposite. See, makes everything look smaller. So that's the bloat tool. And that's the pinch tool. Control Z again, just go back. Oh the dropper tool is great. <clears throat> it's probably my most used um, tool that I use literally grab it, it's just exactly, again there's a name implies, let's grab a drop, so if you keep your eye on the little black box here on the left bottom, we go, plop, we've got a sample colour, and you can do a lot with that, with that information. Okay, so we'll control Z that, and this is the text, let's type, let's type some text, let's type in, hello, Photographers. Okay. Now these are the font styles. Um, let's see. Let's try Arial. That's normally my favourite. The size is pretty small. Let's change it a little bit bigger. Bold. Let's see. And then you can centre it. Do what you want. But it's centred anyway, so you can do that. And the reason that's pink is because we dropped it, as it were. We took a sample on the left and it's using that colour. So we've done the dropper tool, the text, hands tool should move things but because it's all one big, it literally it's just like a hand, it just moves it around. Um, and another one of my favourites is magnifying glass. See, magnifying 
zoom in, zoom out. So to get to zoom out, you literally just right click um, to prove that this is flash. The little message there says Adobe Flash um, is what is used to run this app. App is like an application or a program. Same as widget, it's a little app. That's, so that's just a technical word. So right, we just zoom back out again. Uh, zoom out. Oh, I'll tell you what, watch this. Zoom in. Zoom in. If you think you zoomed about 8 million times, you think, oh no, I don't want to zoom all the way back out. You know, 8 million times you right click and do show all, and then you go right back to where you were. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? Let me explain a bit more about layers. Um, this is probably going to go totally pear shaped, but let's just attempt to do layers. Right, so we've got a flower layer. Um, let's remove. Yeah, oh, there we go. Right, look. Hello, photographers. That tick there. We'll switch off that layer. See? On. Off. Okay. So now with layers, you can do all sorts of things. Let me delete that layer. Right, go away, layer. Now he's gone. Now we can. Hi, let's let's start to play around with layer number two. Um, let's see what can we do. Um, let's blur it. Okay, because we're on the top layer. We've just literally blurred that layer. 